Hi, it's Byron Stripling here with the Columbus Jazz Orchestra, and we start this season with New Orleans on Parade, and that starts Thursday, October 20th at 7.30, Friday, October 21st at 8 p.m., Saturday, the 22nd at 8 p.m., and then Sunday, if you're into matinees, the 23rd at 3 p.m., and you could actually come at 2 p.m. and see our youth orchestra. But I'm standing here with two amazing musicians. One has a, a special uh, connection with New Orleans, and he has his whole persona is imbued with that style. When you hear him play he, you feel those sounds of New Orleans and that's Evan Christopher right here yeah. can, can I ask you what got you into playing sort of in that style your style goes through all kinds of different genres but I feel a certain New Orleans feeling from your playing all the New Orleans players they the, the of any instrument but especially the clarinet they just sang through their instruments and I, I think that for me uh, it was just having all that flexibility and those sounds that were uh, they were just so much like the, the voice. Mm -hmm. I can't sing like a damn. So, I, you know, so, so to be able to have all those colors and all those different things in the clarinet, that made it different than any of the classical music that I, that I you know, learned or studied. And, right. and even, the, even, the, even the, you know, musicians of the swing era, not, not quite the same level of, uh, of um, um, uh, colors and emotions that you can get. Oh, I hear, I hear that in your playing. I hear shades of even like a guy like Edmund Holmes. You ever oh, yeah, the growling and yes. growling. You, can, you know, that, and when you growl and you speak, you can make a lot of different right. emotions. And, you know, those crying sounds that cats like George Lewis used to make. And yeah. all, those, all, those, all those are in there. Well, the final question is, you have a very witty sound to your... Does that from your instrument? Is it something that you hear in your head? Uh, I mean, uh, speaking with that accent of those New Orleans players, it turns out that they all have this... Uh, this kind of antiquated fingering system and a different, uh, different, uh, an instrument called the Albert system clarinet and mm -hmm. these, these fingerings. It lent itself more to getting some of those um, eccentricities in intonation. Um, so not just pitch, but also the, the, the way the sound spread out. Sure, you know? sure, sure. Well, you're gonna love Evan Christopher. He's been with us before, and he all, we always get requests for you to come back, so we're so oh, glad you're with us. It's so great to be back. You'll hear shades of Sidney Bechet and so many other pe uh, people, a little petite fleur, you're, you're gonna yeah, play for yeah. us. Uh, I also have with uh, with, with me uh, the young Jameson Ross right here, incredible drummer who's gonna blow you away, but you're also gonna give us a touch of singing. You were a 2012 winner of the Thelonious Monk competition, and then all of a sudden you made a record like a year or so ago, and it got a Grammy nomination. How did that happen? Well, well, you know, I decided to sing. You know, most people know me as a drummer, but uh, I went to the label, I said, you know what, I don't wanna put out a jazz drum record. You know, I've been singing all my life. I would like to do a record that embodied how I came up, how I grew up in the music, as well as what I've learned through my studies and through my experiences and touring mm -hmm. and playing with a lot of great jazz musicians. And so I wanted to do something that represented both. Mm -hmm. I put this record out and that's what happened. I'm singing on 10 or 12 tracks. And so I've been able to be in front of audiences and, and places like with you here, you know, with the Columbus Jazz Orchestra. Uh, and I'm thankful for that because I put out this record and I wasn't afraid to just be myself. Yes, know? yes, yes. Well, we'll hear that in what you're doing. Even when you're singing a song like Obi Carmichael's in New Orleans, mm -hmm or you're doing any of the other stuff you do. We hear the feeling and the spirit of New Orleans, but we also hear you. Yeah. When did you first start singing? You said you grew up singing. Yeah, my grandfather's church. My grandfather was a pastor back home. He actually retired about three years ago, over 40 years in the ministry. And so basically I started singing. It wasn't drums first, and then my mom said, you know what, if you want to do this for a living, and you want to do this for the rest of your life, you have to legitimize yourself and go to college. Mm -hmm. And so that was the rule. I went to college, I learned, I took drums, jazz principal and then the singing kind of just went. Where'd you go to college? Florida State University mm -hmm. in Tallahassee, Florida. And the way I got to New Orleans was through grad school. Mm -hmm. uh, Ellis Marcellus, uh, Jason Marcellus, they invited me there to go to grad school. And I played, went there for two years and I'm still there. I live there with my wife, my daughter. And uh, that's how I'm able to come and celebrate the New Orleans on parade. Well, that's you know? beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna love Evan Christopher and Jameson Ross. They truly embody the spirit, the sound, and the feeling of New Orleans. We want you to join us October 20th to the 23rd. Go to our website, jazzartsgroup.org, and you'll see the schedule. You must be there. We start this concert series with a bang. And of course, we end it with the Saints go marching in. <laughs> we'll see you there. Have a good one.